What's up, kids? Hope y'all are well. So let's talk about project management and communication tools. Luke asked a great question a few days ago, and I'm just getting back to it, but I want to make sure I catch up on this. So Luke says, what project management and communication systems does everyone use, like out here in our community? So here's what we do. And this is not right or wrong. A lot of great experience in that comment thread. But let me just tell you what we do. So time management is my thing, all right? I just really love systems and delegation and getting my time down to a really strong level where I'm working as little as possible to make as much money as possible and enjoy the process along the way. Now, for me also as a boss, I wanna make sure that my team is working as little as possible, enjoying their workload. What's up, Noel? And I wanna make sure that they're being highly profitable in their activity as well. So this whole project and communication based thing is really important. I want them to have a great experience at work and I want me to have a great experience at work. And obviously we gotta get stuff done. So here's what we do. Simple is better every time when it comes to this stuff, okay? We've tried Slack, we've tried everything, all right? I hate to just name brands. I don't dislike these things. It's just not been as efficient as we hoped, all right? We use one project and task management system and we communicate inside that project and task management system. That's it. It's just that simple, folks. Sure, we might fire off a text message here or there, but our communication around all of our workflow happens inside our project and task management system. Most project and task management systems that you can buy now are robust enough to handle that. They incorporate all of that. Here's the, here's the twist though. I don't use Slack, and I don't use email, and I don't use text messaging, and I don't use a lot of social media messaging because I have team members to help me with that. So as the boss, if you want to really free yourself from all of the time constraints, and the nonstop decision making that comes from all those communication channels. Yes, Slack or other tools can combine a lot of that and bring it into one space for you, but you're still doing it, okay? So what I've done, just strategically in my own life, is I have delegated most of the communication, like 99% of the communication, in or out that comes through me. I wanna make sure that I don't have to be the one nonstop answering questions. In fact, recently, some other team asked us to jump on a Slack channel. I just simply don't. I, I just simply don't ever engage in anybody else's Slack channels. Even if it's a vendor of ours who needs me throughout the day, we're gonna have to schedule something or put that into a space where it's not a constant distraction. Noel, uh, Chris is a leader in this field. Oh, uh, it's changed my life by being, uh, by following his model. Noel, it's because honestly, you're doing the work to get the results. It's hard, right, Noel? It's hard to let go of communication, like letting go of those things, letting go of all the little pieces. And what if somebody says something wrong? What if it's not quite what I would do? What if I wanted to steer it this way, but I want to overlook, oversee everything's going on. That, that stuff's hard to let go. And so Noel, congrats for being honestly brave enough and strong enough to make those decisions. So again, back to answering this question, what project and task management tools slash communication tools do we use? We use Rike, W-R-I-K-E, for our project and task management suite. Again, Asana, anything Basecamp, uh, Monday.com, I've never used that one. Uh, Trello, a lot of people like Trello. It, it ultimately doesn't matter. What matters, I've even seen like, what is it, um, Evernote? Evernote, I think Evernote does task and project management. Stuff. Some people love that. What works for you and your team? Um, Miro, what's up? Great to see you, man. What works for you and your team is the big question here. But really, here's what we've done. We take whatever project and task management suite you wanna use and we boil everything into that, okay? So in our project and task management suite, and again, most of them do this, you can communicate in the project and task management suite, right? They have like a chat box, they have messages. Okay, we're there, we're back. Looks like my, uh, my phone disconnected for a second. Anyway, in those project and task management suites, whichever one you use, you use Trello, great Noel, yeah. You can communicate in the comments. What's going on with my little uh, connection here? I don't know what's going on. Um, I'm gonna, there you go, I'm jumping off of Wi-Fi. Hope that helps. I'm not sure what's going on with that. So in those project and task management suites, they have a comment thread, right? That comment thread is associated with every task or major project or major project folder, task folder, however you arrange your stuff. So in our, in our um, task and project management suite, we follow a simple rule, simple set of, of structures for our clients. 
So we have a folder that has a client name, all right? Main project task dashboard, we have folders that have client names, okay? So let's say client Chris is in there. So in client Chris, it, let's say we have client, elite agency is a good example of that. Elite agency, everything we experience here in this community is actually a sub-client of our bigger agency, okay? So we might have a client that we work for, and then we have elite agency. No matter what it is, every client folder, every big project folder has four subfolders, finance, marketing, operations, and human resource. So under every main client, we have sub, a subfolder set, operations, marketing, finance, human resource, okay? That we can just keep things organized. Everything human resource goes in one folder, everything marketing goes in a folder, everything operation goes in a folder, everything finance about that project or client goes in a folder. Inside those folders, then we have just an endless array of tasks that are getting done for marketing or for their finance or their operations or their human resource. That's how we organize. Inside each of those tasks, there is a description of the task, any peripherals that have to come in, like links to Google Docs, links to video edits that we're doing, websites, whatever. All that stuff comes into the task. So we have the main client folder header. Underneath every client folder header, we have the operations, marketing, human resource, and finance subfolders. And then in the subfolders, it's just full of tasks, all right? Those tasks are just simply labeled in a way that makes it easy for us to understand. Typically, we put a small acrostic of the client, like if it was the Chris Williams client, it would be CW new website launch. That would be the main task. Underneath that main task, there'd be subtask in there, like graphic design, logo creation, whatever. We might have all that. But anyway, underneath every task, there is a strong communication field, all right? In the comments of those tasks, we tag people on our team. We handle all the communication. We leave notes back and forth. We do the stuff there. That way all communication happens inside our task and project management suite. It's not kept in Slack. It's not kept in email threads. There's tons of great systems out there like Slack that organize your communication. I don't want things outside of the project and task management suite. I want the project and task management suite to own the communication. That way, if a year from now we want to replicate that project or task for another client and we're like, we did it a year ago. Let's just go back and see what we did. Let's make it better. We can just go back to that one task or that project and everything that we talked about is right there. It's so much easier to find. And I know Slack lets you search by keyword, category, whatever. So do most good, robust project and task management suites. So to answer that question very simply, we keep all of our communication in the project and task management suite period. It happens there. If we have outside vendors who are helping us with like graphic design or creating an event or doing something online, it's a big complicated online moving project. We give them access to the right task that we're using, our project and suite task that we're using. If they don't use our project and task management suite, no worries. We can get them a free, you know, user that's everybody gets a free user for everything, right? You can give them a free user that they can collaborate on a task super easy. It's just a task management suite. They're all basically the same. But they're getting one task. They're in communication. They're able to load files into that. That's how we do it. So every task basically has its own Google file folder associated with it. So all the all the assets are kept in a Google Drive folder and they're linked into the task. That way even the task and project management suite doesn't own the asset itself. I want Google Drive or whatever our other backup systems are owning the files. That way, if we ever change project and task management suites, all of our assets aren't stuck there as well. They're actually kept in our Google Cloud. Hope that helps. That's what we do for project and task management, and that is what we do for communication. That way, everything is centralized around the thing we're trying to get done. Lastly, this is just how I envision it. Uh, Trello is, is awesome. Yeah, Tim, what's up? Um, Here's just how I envision the, the thing, okay? I'm a very spatial thinker, all right? So we used to all work from like a file cabinet and a set of desks and a conference table, let's say, right? So if three of us on our work team are gonna get together and work on something, then we would go to the file cabinet. Let's just talk old school paper, right? We'd go to the file cabinet or somebody's desk, and we bring our little notebooks, our stack of folders, our laptops, whatever. We bring all that stuff with us to the work table, to the conference table, and we work on it together. We communicate there at the table. This is, again, think super old school. 
That's where that would happen. And then we get done with the meeting and communicating and working on something together. And we go back and put the files back in the file cabinet or stick them in your desk drawers or wherever you keep them and get back to the next task. So I think of our digital workspaces the same way. I want to have the communication and the assets I need, the work stuff I need at the conference table. The conference table is the project and task management suite. That's where we get together to work on a project. I want communication to happen there in that space so it's easy for everyone to find and be part of it right there, not multiple places to go to. You communicate right there where all this stuff already is. So handy. And then we store the real physical assets, the files themselves, back into the file cabinet, which is Google Drive for us. That way it doesn't stay in the workspace, the project and task management suite. I actually want them staying separate in case those two ever need to be separated apart. That's how we do it. That's why we do it. Hope that helps. Great question, Luke. Awesome question. It's a pretty good tactical question. And if you can figure out that communication thing and really centralize it and not let it be part of your world all day long, where Slack, like for instance, just pings you constantly, if you can get away from that, you will be so much better off as a leader and as a strategist in your business. You'll also get some sanity back too. All right, kids, talk soon. Rock this day. Get after it. Do the work. Get the results. Enjoy your weekend. Take the space you need and chill this weekend. Take off early on a Friday if you can. Separate work from play and be pure play, pure work. Be organized. Make the hard decisions to get these delegated things going and to get your life back. Oh my gosh. So worth it. See you soon.